CSGO is a game that is very popular for many reasons, including its very expensive skin community. But people who aren't familiar with it, well, they don't really understand why the skins cost so much, let alone why people would spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on digital pixels. There's actually a lot of reasons why people are willing to do this, but the main reason is that you can make some pretty good profit. Let me explain here. Now, there's four main reasons why skins are pretty expensive. You have the actual skin itself, like how it looks. You have the rarity or how hard it is to get that skin. You have investing and then you have trading. Starting off with the look of the skin, it's probably the least important thing I would say. Some people will value skin on how good they look compared to others. For a majority of skins, this will affect the price a little bit, but it's not the main factor. Next up, we have the rarity of that skin. In CSGO, skins come from cases that you have to pay $2.50 at least to open. From there, you have a whole set of odds that determine what you get, with the rare special item or the gold item obviously being the best. Now, going by the odds here, you're looking at opening maybe at least 400 cases just to guarantee your Yourself one gold. And if you do the math, well, it's quite a bit of money you're spending just to get the best skin possible. This is the basis of why a lot of skins honestly cost so much is because you have to spend so much just to maybe get it. Even after a skin is unboxed, the rarity still plays a pretty important factor. The case that skin comes out of, well, it's only going to be around for so long. Eventually, it'll be removed out of the game, meaning what is left of the skins in it is all that there's ever going to be. For some skins, even though they might not look good at all, because the case that you get it out of or because the collection that you get it out of was discontinued so long, ago, and because there's so few of them left on the community market, that factor alone will drive up the price in an insane amount. Rarity plays a pretty big role here, but now we're going to move on to investing. This might sound stupid to a lot of people, but CSGO skins, you can actually invest into them and make some pretty insane profit. First of all, just buying a basic glove knife combo like I kind of have personally in my inventory here, the longer you hold on to it, well, right now it's proving that you'll make steady profit over time. I guess as the Steam platform itself grows and the game slowly gets more and more popular, there's a steady amount of new people coming into the game and as they get interested in skins, well, it slowly drives up skin values. A good example of this is I bought my Omega gloves almost a year ago now for 350 bucks off a of skin port. If I go to sell these now, they're worth at least 400 to 450 And to be honest, that's a pretty big lowball. I could probably get a little bit more. Besides just your loadout skins that you would use in game, people do also purchase skins as investments like cases, for example, where depending on how many there are in circulation and how highly sought after the skins in them are, it'll drive the price up and down and people can use this to make quite a bit of money. One thing people always forget to consider as well when you're thinking about investing is trade-ups in game. Skin YouTube YouTubers like Sparkles, for example, will invest massive amounts of money into lesser skins that really just aren't very popular or well-known in order to get higher tier skins that cost a significant amount. It might sound like a cool exploit to get some free money, but it actually drives up the prices of these skins used for the trade-up an insane amount. It is why some people will invest into these lower tier skins, but it's also why so many people love trade-ups is because you can make an insane amount of profit off of them. Now, all of this would not be possible and would not be coming together without trading. Trading is the one aspect of all CSGO items through Steam that allows you to send items between accounts. Because trading is so easy and enables third-party sites where you can go and buy or sell your CSGO skins for IRL money. Regardless of everything I just said and forgetting about investing, if you spend $500 on a CSGO skin, for example, you'll be able to sell it and get that $500 back in IRL money because of trading. Let's say you even see a CSGO account out there that has an inventory over a hundred grand worth of CSGO skins. It's not like Fortnite where if you put all that money into the game, it's gone for good. That person can just go and cash out for a hundred grand and that's not even considering any of the profit they probably will make. Because of all this, this is why CSGO skins cost so much, but it's also why the CSGO skin community is super cool and just super intriguing to get into. With all that said though, if you guys did make it this far in the video, let me know any of your questions or comments down in the comment section below. I'll check them out for sure. And uh, yeah. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.